Hi everyone, welcome to Slim Chat. Once again, not a great deal of slimming going on around here, but um, lots of Christmassy goodies, and I don't know if you heard the loo flush. <laughs> but you know, it's a blog, right? And you know, that's a, a thing. Anywho, it's Gary, not me, obviously, because I'm in here and it doesn't really... Anyway, um, Boxing Day, yeah, so um, I hate the traditional cold meat pickle ugh, dinner, so I'm not having that, just having uh, veggies and, and meats. Dinner yesterday went absolutely beautifully, I mean, it was, everything was gorgeous, it was really, really nice, and um, stuffed my little self, so I was the right little pudding, but... Um, we didn't have Christmas pudding yesterday because we didn't have room for it. So uh, probably have some of that tomorrow because Gary's off tomorrow. He's working tonight, so, um, you know, I'll probably do a live stream over on Crochet Rocks if anybody fancies joining us. So, um, yeah. Uh, so I had some sausage rolls for breakfast. I made them fresh this morning. And they're really, really yummy. Made them so that Gary could take them to work, really. And I probably won't have any more. Um, I just usually have them when they're warm and that's it. I don't really bother anymore. And if I do, if I do fancy one at any point, I usually microwave it so it's just a little bit warm and then have some brown sauce with it, which is yum. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Really, nothing else to report. Got lots of chocolate, though, to eat. So I got a big box of Thorntons and we had a box of dairy milk. So I feel like I'm going to become the size of a house before I get back on this diet which you know it's I didn't want that to happen you know before it, all the build-up I was saying I wasn't really gonna go over the top and I was not gonna come off it and I was gonna maybe just do Christmas dinner but then I got Covid and then I got happy to be alive and I just thought you know what to hell with it and um I got an, I got another Christmas present today because Gary lost it and um, he kept saying, I'm sure I bought you. <laughs> it's so noisy, isn't it? I'm sure I bought you some rhubarb and ginger gin. And I thought, well, maybe you were going to get it on that shop and thought this one's a bit expensive. I'll get it next time. And just thought you'd got it. So he, he looked everywhere for it. And as I was putting stuff away in his drawers, I found it. So I've got another Christmas present. <laughs> so I shall have some of that this evening because it's my favourite. I absolutely love it. He said, oh... It's so noisy, sorry. He said, I'll buy you one. I went, no, no, don't do that, because I've got enough stuff. But um, now I've, now we've found it. I'm glad I've got it, you know. Um, the one thing I thought I'd get and I didn't was some chocolate Baileys. I do love that. But I was making all these, you know, noises that I was going to stick to the diet as much as possible. So um, I didn't get the, the, the Belgian chocolate Baileys, but never mind. Got more than enough stuff. And it would have just made me even fatter, wouldn't it? Which, you know, can't can't be doing. I was getting really slim, wasn't I, in the face when I had COVID. <laughs> I, always, you know, I used to say, well, can't I get one of these debilitating diseases that just make you thin? Really didn't think that through, though, did I? But you know what? It's Christmas. And, um, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? you know, just weak-willed, but not when I'm on the in the zone. I won't be weak-willed when I get back to it. It's going to be, this is my, my incentive to myself, that um, I keep seeing all these really lovely sparkly tops, and I used to be a sparkly person, you know, and then I went off the sparkly things. But at Christmas, you do need to have a little bit of sparkle, so uh, I look a little bit round shoulder. I do apologise, it's where I'm sitting. It's because I've got a muscle problem. So, um, yeah, and I have got a really sparkly dress somewhere, uh, which probably would fit me. At, well, probably would have fitted me when I had COVID, but maybe not today. Anyway, it, it's not far off fitting anyway. It probably would fit. So, um, but it's somewhere, you know, and I just thought it would be nice to have one little pow number that i can wear christmas time just a little i have got a few subtly sparkly because i said i went off of sparkly but you know that one christmas thing 
that just you won't wear any other time but it's pow in your face i think next year i'm going to do it i'm going to be slim enough to wear one because i don't really like buying things that are huge you know i'm not that i'm huge i know that but you know what i mean uh, i don't mind buying it if i'm small anyway so we put um one of my christmas presents together well gary did last night and i've got this dummy and um it's a tailor's dummy and you just crank it and she gets bigger <laughs> so that's cool can make any size i'm really over the moon with that it's brilliant i have to give her a name i have to think of one i don't know what to call her maybe i should do a competition ah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to get off because there's not an awful lot of slimming going on around here. And, um, excuse me, I've got a bit of landslide, my presence. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to make any of these like New Year's resolutions like joining a gym or any of that rubbish because I never, ever stick to them. And I always end up having to pay for the year when I don't go. So, and I vowed twice that I'd never do it again and I did so three times this has happened to me and I said you know I will never ever become a member of a gym again and I won't that's it done I, if I do it I'll do pay as you go I don't care if it's more expensive it isn't in the long run because you just don't go you don't pay you know and so that's that's gonna be that's that's it from now on not gonna do it anymore I know I love going. That's a stupid thing. I had I we used to belong to a really nice one, and they had a spa there. They had uh, one of these things like, like a little shower cubicle. It was a monsoon shower, which played bird song, and they had a jacuzzi and a sauna and a steam room, which I couldn't go in because it played havoc with my asthma. But they had all that, and they had weights upstairs, and they had aerobics, they had spin classes, they had everything, you know. And um, I loved going and I can remember the very last time that I went, um, the first time I was a member, I said, you know, to myself, I absolutely love this. I'm going to make a point of coming a lot more often. Then I met Gary and I didn't have any time anymore. I never went back. So after paying for that year, I said I wouldn't do it again. Then we both joined. So I said, OK, we'll go if it's together. So we both joined and same thing happened and then i said that's it never ever ever again and we joined the one up the road here and uh we didn't go anymore and so i cancelled it and then they went bankrupt and they refunded everybody <laughs> so that's kind of cool and so i said that's it that is the very last time I'm not going to and so i got roped into joining the swallows which is the place where i used to live in sittingbourne and um, so I told them I moved. <laughs> I got my money back because I never went. And I said, that is definitely, definitely the last time that I ever go to join a gym. And every now and then, Gary said, oh, no, no. Don't even go there. No. So, uh, yeah, I won't be doing it again. Even though when I do go, I really, really enjoy it. Don't quite know why. I have this commitment problem. Anyway. Oh, and I used to belong to one in Gillingham, but that was, I used to get in for free. Because at the time, um, one of Paul's ex-girlfriends, a long, long time ago, worked there. So I used to get in for free. That was the one. I used to go there a lot. It was free. <laughs> the petrol wasn't, though. So, you know, it did cost me. But, of course, if it didn't go, it didn't cost. So that was... That was ideal. That's what I need. So I need Paul to get another job in a place where I can go for free. That very rarely happens. They usually even charge you. So, yes, so there won't be any of those New Year's resolutions that I'm not going to stick to. But the one that I will have is that I'll get back on this diet. And next Christmas, you're going to see me in some sparkly little number. Only for one day, you know. Won't subject you to it every day. <laughs> It'd be funny, wouldn't it? Right, so that's it. I haven't got anything else to say. So I'm going to upload this video. So have a good boxing day. I hope you don't have to have cold meat and pickle though. I won't be going anywhere near that. So, 
Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now, everyone.